Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the T's. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the study manual for the T's. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 109. Please turn to it. Page 109, and today is our day number 58. Today is our lesson number 58, rather. We are so we are in the middle of solving absolute. Uh, we are in the middle of solving problems dealing with, the, with dealing with the notion of absolute value. Yesterday we did uh, a problem, and then day before yesterday is when we introduced the notion of absolute value. If you have not watched those two videos yesterday, and particularly, especially the one on day before yesterday, make sure you watch it first which is where we discussed the notion, the very notion of absolute value, what, what it means and what does it measure conceptually. Do you understand? So here's a problem that is given to us here, 2.64 is what we are doing here, 264. 264 is what we are about to do. And it says, solve the inequality. All right, and the inequality that they give us is 3 minus, 3 by minus 2, plus 5 is less than or equal to 1. The well, first thing we have to understand, the first thing we have to realize is that this 5 appears outside the absolute value. This 5 appears outside the absolute value. It has to be taken away from it. We have to bring it to that side immediately so that we can analyze this part. So let's, let's do that. Subtract 5 from both sides so that we can cross out this 5. And what we find is absolute value of 3y minus 2 is less than or equal to negative 4. This is where things begin to get prickly because what does absolute value mean? Absolute value, this right here, absolute absolute value of no quantity, absolute value of no quantity can be negative. Absolute value of no quantity can be negative. Absolute value, is which, is why I'm, which is why I emphasized a little while ago, that you must watch the video on day before yesterday. We learned on day before yesterday that absolute value actually measures distance, distance from zero. It doesn't matter which direction you go, it just tells you the distance, which means absolute value by definition has to be a positive quantity. Absolute value by definition, absolute value by definition has to be a positive quantity. Absolute values cannot be, absolute value of no quantity can be a negative value. It's not possible. Here, what this says is that, what this, thing, what this equality is telling us is that we have some quantity, 3y minus 2, we have some quantity here, 3y minus 2, and it tells us that when we take the absolute value of it, it happens to be something less than negative 4. Well, absolute value cannot be a negative number. It doesn't, it doesn't exist. There is no solution to this inequality. There is, there is no solution to this inequality. I meant to say inequality. There is no, there is no solution to this inequality. It doesn't exist. Inequality. It doesn't exist. Now instead of saying, instead of saying there is no solution to this inequality, this is not how a mathematician will speak. This is not how a mathematician will talk. In the language of mathematicians, will say. In the language of mathematicians, we're going to say the same thing. Instead of saying in an English language, we're going to say in the language of mathematicians. Mathematician would say the solution, the solution to this problem, solution to this problem is a null set. Is a null set. And the symbol that they use for null set, the symbol that they use is this, which is a Greek letter. Phi, no, not pi, phi, P-H-I, phi. 
That's the letter that we use traditionally to represent a null set. Null set means it, that set has no members. There, there is nothing exists in it. Or if that set has no members, if, if it's an empty set, null set means empty set. Null set means empty set. Well, if it's empty, that means there is no solution. Because if there, if there had been a solution, we would have presented it in the, in, the, in the solution set. Do you understand? That's it. It has no solution. The solution to this problem is a null set which is a very awkward way of saying there is no solution. It doesn't exist. The solution set is a phi. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.